all right folks so uh i'm doing this uh video uh and i'll be putting this out on wednesday wing in wednesday which will be uh <clears throat> november uh excuse me september the 7th today is uh september 5th it's labor day We're about to do a weigh-in uh, in preparation for weigh-in Wednesday. Um, all right, let me drag out the scale here. Okay, so that is a big gain <clears throat> since last Wednesday. Uh, and we'll get into that as I go along uh, throughout this video. But I'm not happy with that result, and uh, I'm going to show you how to fix it in an extreme way. I am going to implement a 48 hour fast and The point of 24 hours for me won't come until um, about 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. Yes, I have been messing up that bad, but we are going to fix this by Wednesday. And uh, I cannot settle for that uh, number on the scale after I worked so hard to uh, achieve uh, such great results over the... Uh, over the past year so I can't let uh, Labor Day get in my way today Labor Day weekend has already done a number on me so it is like extreme crunch time to uh, at least drop the five pounds back down so we're gonna attempt this 48 hour fast thing and uh, we'll see how it goes mm -hmm. All right, folks, so it is still morning. It is almost 10 a.m. at this point. I'm still drinking the first cup of coffee. Um, I had to pause on it to get my son ready, and I plan on having another cup shortly behind this one. Uh, once the uh, fastest state kicks in, uh, I'm not going to be able to drink it uh, because... Uh, Right now, I am still feeling sluggish, and uh, off of all the junk food that I have ate over the past few days. Uh, so, uh, I really uh, let myself go in the evenings, and... Uh, not only that, but I have uh, also uh, overindulged to the point where it's caused about, what, seven pounds of weight gain? So, I enjoyed those foods, so I feel like, you know, a 48-hour fast is uh, something I need to attempt. Now, hey, I might not be successful on it. Um, if I get to the point where I've got the hunger shakes, I'm going to have to eat something, so i got to have a plan for that. And uh, my plan for that is to implement the inflammation-fighting foods that I make. Uh, i got some uh, more vegetables and onions in there and another can of chicken, so I can make me a stir-fry situation if I need to. Uh, We'll see. I'm hoping to uh, be able to uh, go through this fast without uh, getting into those hunger shakes. You know, when you get those, you better eat something because your body's trying to tell you you got to have some kind of nutrition in you. And uh, K2 
caffeine will bring that on. So, uh, sometime today I may need to sneak to the store and get me some kind of decaffeinated uh, coffee to drink. I don't know yet. Um, uh, right now I'm dealing with a lot of undigested junk food that's in my system. Uh, whew. Boy, this is going to be a battle, folks. This is going to be a battle. Uh, we'll see, you know, how uh, strong my willpower is to get me through this. Um, willpower is one thing, but uh, hunger shakes and stuff is nothing to play around with. Uh, and I do have a contingency plan to that. Uh, eating vegetables and chicken, uh, very low fat, uh, low carb. Uh, if it comes to that but we're going to try our best to do this 48 hour fast without having to implement anything um, pretty sure I can definitely get by the first 24 hours into tomorrow um, like I say that will not occur 24 hours of eating will not occur to sometime around uh, 8 or 9 o'clock tonight I really messed up so I've really got to correct. So, uh, when you mess up to the extreme, you've got to uh, focus on the extreme to get things back in order. I got to get my house back in order. Got things coming up this week that I want to do. Uh, got a meditating trip coming up uh, this coming Saturday. So, I want to be mentally prepared for that. Uh, this video may be a little long because uh, I'm documenting this uh, from a three-day standpoint going into Wednesday. Um, we will see. I'll try to keep it as short as possible, but uh, I want to bring you all the information of how this is going along as possible as well. So y'all stay tuned. I will talk to you in a little while uh, when we start feeling the hunger because right now all I feel is bloated and... I feel uh, run down at the moment. Uh, those cupcakes and chips uh, really have me feeling uh, terrible right now. I'm regretting eating any of that stuff at this moment. Haven't felt this way in a long time. Uh, and I hope not to feel this way for a very long time going forward. All right, we'll talk to you in a bit. All right, folks. So. <clears throat> It is now 3.38 p.m. Now, I wound up eating a hot dog a while ago. And let me explain how that is not going to interfere with my 48-hour fast. Uh, first off, I uh, ate uh, Oscar Mayer uh, hot dog weenie that was made out of uh, turkey. And... Uh, the ground meat that I used is also turkey based and I had less than a teaspoon of chili on there uh, along with uh, some mustard which is uh, basically zero calorie. Now I made myself two hot dogs but uh, I only wound up eating one of them and uh, the reason I did is because I don't want anyone in the house to worry about me going into a 48 hour fast for one thing I never said in the beginning of this that I was going to be doing a uh, water fast so basically what I am doing is a extremely low calorie fast uh, going into these 48 hours the hot dog in itself had less than 300 calories bun included so there is that and uh, I had made some french fries and I maybe ate two or three of those fries. Uh, not enough to even worry about counting the calories on. Uh, but it worked. Uh, my family, you know, suspects that uh, I ate a regular amount uh, with the rest of them and uh, they don't have to worry. Uh, so it is, I guess you could consider it an OMAD if you wanted to, but uh, I'm still considering it part of a 48 hour fast because uh, before I ate the hot dog, uh, I have, uh, I was experiencing some hunger and I was liking that and the autophagy 
and this may disrupt it uh, for a very short amount of time and I immediately come and took uh, some cinnamon in behind that hot dog now what cinnamon does is and I take a ginger too and what they do is they uh, help uh, stop the absorption of uh, carbohydrates from being converted uh, and uh, basically help you to pass uh, that food along uh, through your system in a relatively good way and as far as uh, not allowing it to count you know into your system as uh, carbohydrates or whatever I don't know all the exact medical technical terms but uh, cinnamon is something that I've talked about in the past and that is something I use on the regular um, especially when I'm going into this fasting phase so uh, I thought about having another cup of coffee in behind it as well uh, because cinnamon and coffee work well together as far as that goes and I still may do that uh, I may just use uh, get me some coffee out of the uh, one cup that I've got in there that I saved back from earlier that way I won't have be having a full dose of that uh, black silk coffee that I normally uh, drink uh, but there's enough in that to uh, definitely qualify as another cup of coffee to just be a lighter uh, cup of coffee than uh, before so uh, I just wanted to update you on that and uh, as you can see it is still fifth so there you go and uh, that was literally 10 minutes ago so uh, we are going into the afternoon with uh, no more than 300 calories throughout the day so this 48 hour fast is uh, is uh, what I'm considering a low calorie fast as opposed to a water fast so there is a difference and uh, yeah, so there you go. We'll talk later. <clears throat> Alright, so I thought I'd chime in here and say, yeah, I decided to go ahead and have that third cup of black coffee today. This is a lighter cup. <clears throat> Still quite strong. Uh, that black silk is no joke. You can actually get about two cups of coffee out of it. <sighs> but I wanted to add that in there. And, uh, as far as that second hot dog went, Oscar enjoyed that 300 calorie snack, or less than 300 calorie snack, rather. All right, so keep you posted as time rolls on. All right, folks, so it is still Labor Day. Oops. It is still September 5th, 2022. And uh, I told you earlier, all I had was that uh, hot dog that was under 300 calories. And uh, it has not been 24 hours as of yet. So that 24 hours where I had messed up yesterday doesn't occur for another hour or so. And uh, <clears throat> that involved three cupcakes, a bowl of ice cream, uh, a whole bag of chips, and part of another bag. <laughs> and I uh, can't even remember what I what all else I had to eat yesterday uh, what was my solid meal for yesterday um, I don't even remember at this point but it was something <laughs> uh, oh yeah it was the uh, inflammation fighting food that I ate yesterday the uh, buffalo chicken now that may have had a part in uh, helping with this uh, weight decrease so uh, basically you saw that right, right there is 274 point two pounds so this morning I weighed at 275.8 so I've lost almost two pounds entirely um, 
just since uh, nine o'clock this morning when I first started uh, talking on camera. This is interesting. May have stumbled across something new here unintentionally, but uh, I like the fact that uh, <laughs> we're almost down two pounds already uh, going into this uh, 48 hour experiment that I'm doing here. Uh, So I'm doing 48 hour fasting, but I'm doing it, you know, with throwing in something extremely low calorie uh, in there as opposed to doing a complete OMAD. To me, one hot dog under 300 calories is not what I would consider an entire meal. Uh, I would consider a meal that would be upwards of five to 700 calories in my opinion. Uh, that would be a meal, but... Uh, Either way it goes, we'll keep going. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with that yet. We'll find out as we go along. I'm definitely feeling hungry. I feel the fastest state kicked in. I am there. I am in autophagy. A lot of that is due to the coffee. Uh, maybe even the cinnamon and ginger are playing a small role in the blocking of weight absorption. And uh, also uh, water uh retention within the body you know maybe that has uh, something to do with it i've seen uh, studies on it but uh i'm a firm believer in the coffee the ginger and the cinnamon and it's something i've talked about before and i'm talking about it now because uh i'm trying to correct things before weigh-in on wednesday and uh the way that's looking right now uh well we'll see in the morning uh how much more of a drop we have by in the morning but you can expect another extremely low calorie day tomorrow uh, but it may come in the form as inflammation fighting food such as uh, maybe a stir fry made into a salad but either way we'll talk to you then things are going good already things could be better if I would stop making these mistakes I could uh be halfway down to uh, 70 pounds of weight loss right now but it is what it is and uh, I promise after this week's weigh-in I will get better at uh, going forward with uh, weight loss because I'm tired of it I want to see this done I want to see this through um, so here we go still September 5th Labor Day it is 11 40 p.m. 10 minutes or uh, 20 minutes just before midnight. Final weigh in for today after this very long fast. Did have under 300 calories today though, so did eat something. But, uh, Termination uh, pays off in a big way, depending on how determined you are. That weigh in for Wednesday is looking better already.